there, I'm Paxi, an adventurous space explorer. Are you ready to learn about life on Mars? Your planet Earth is certainly special. It's the only world in the solar system known to have life. Earth has a huge variety of life. It has plants, animals and humans. But what makes something alive? Let's think about you humans. You breathe oxygen, drink water, and eat food. You move about and grow over time. You make new tiny humans. And you <coughs> produce waste. Animals and plants do similar things, but in different ways. You're all definitely alive. What about my spaceship? It needs fuel, just like you need food. And it definitely moves really fast. It even produces some waste, but it doesn't grow or make new baby spaceships. Inside my spaceship are cogs, gears, and lots of wires. It's not alive, it's a machine. Some life can be really hard to find, especially if it's tiny. Some creatures that live on your planet are so small you need a microscope to see them, but they're still alive. So, is there life in the solar system? Anywhere other than Earth? Let's fly to Mars and investigate! The last time I visited Mars, I saw dry riverbeds. There must have been lots of water here in the past. Living creatures love water, so could there ever have been some there? Let's take a closer look. I don't think there's been any water here for a long time, and the surface isn't too friendly for life. It's really cold, and my sensors tell me that there's lots of dangerous radiation from the sun. I wouldn't want to take my space helmet off. But could there be small, microscopic life under the surface, where it's safer? Oh no, I don't have anything to explore beneath the surface. But don't worry, because my human friends from the European Space Agency are on the case with their ExoMars missions. ExoMars will send not one, but two missions to Mars. The first will be launched in 2016. This mission is made up of an orbiter and a lander called Schiaparelli. The lander will be sent to the surface to show how spacecraft land on Mars and help prepare for bigger missions in the future. The orbiter will orbit around Mars and explore its thin atmosphere to try and seek out any signs of waste gases given out by tiny life forms. Or if any gases are coming from chemical reactions of warm, wet rocks under the surface. It's a clever way of trying to find out if Mars is still alive today. On the surface, Schiaparelli will check the weather at the landing site, including measuring how strong the winds are. A few years later, the second ExoMars mission will be launched to Mars. This will land a rover that will be the first explorer to drill under the rocky Martian surface. It will search for life that's either there now or was there in the past. So, if Martians exist, they must be very, very small and maybe we'll get to see them soon. We found out what makes something alive and that Mars could be a good place to look for tiny life forms. Beneath the surface is the best place to look which is exactly what the ExoMars missions will do.